Hi everybody. So today we're going to be talking about the pericardium, or it's also known as the pericardial sac. And what it is, is it's a sac that surrounds the heart and basically has a few different functions. So let's go ahead and get started and take a look at it. But before we do, there's one, there's one thing I want you to know is that there's two layers to the pericardial sac. There's the fibrous layer and then there's the serous membrane. So let's go ahead and take a look. And if you look at this big brown area right here, what you'll notice is that this is the fibrous layer. So the fibrous layer actually has a few different functions. And by the way, some books will call, actually call this the fibrous pericardium. So what are the functions of this? Well, the first one is, is that it's going to protect the heart. Okay, so it's going to protect our heart. The second, best, the second one is, is that it's going to hold the heart in place. Now, the way it does that is down here, this fibrous layer actually attaches onto your diaphragm. And then remember, we are looking at a three-dimensional object here in two dimensions. So you got to imagine this comes all the way out like this and then goes all the way behind the whiteboard. And where it comes out like this, it's actually going to attach onto the back of my sternum, which is this bone right here. So it's going to help hold the heart in place. And then because it's a fibrous layer, fibrous tissue is very inflexible, it's very tough. And so what's going to happen is as the heart fills up with blood, it's going to come up against this fibrous layer, which is basically gonna stop it from filling anymore. So one of the functions of the fibrous layer is it keeps the heart from overfilling with blood. Okay, so now, that's the first layer, okay? That's layer number one. I'm gonna move my camera over right here. And now we're gonna look at the second layer. The second layer is going to be known as the serous membrane. And the serous membrane is going to be made up of two different parts, okay? The first part is going to be this blue part that's right here, and we're going to call this the visceral membrane. Whenever we're talking, I'm sorry, the visceral pericardium. Whenever you see the word visceral, especially when it applies to membranes, that means it's the part that's against the organ. So this is my heart, that membrane is right against the organ. The other part of the serous membrane is going to be what we call the parietal pericardium. So this is my parietal pericardium, okay? Now, if you notice, my parietal pericardium comes up, and then this structure right here is my pulmonary artery. But you also actually have a lot of arteries and veins that are coming in and out of the heart. So wherever you have an artery or vein that's coming, my pericardial sac will surround it. Again, we're looking at this in two dimensions, but imagine this goes all the way around that. If you also notice, this membrane folds back on itself, right? It's a continuous membrane. So I have the parietal pericardium, and then I have the visceral pericardium, okay? So these two make up my serous membrane, which is the second layer of my pericardial sac. If you notice now between those two, the visceral pericardium and the uh, parietal pericardium, we have this opening right here, okay? And this is going to be called the pericardial cavity. Now the pericardial cavity is going to be full of a fluid. The fluid comes from the visceral pericardium and the parietal pericardium. So these two structures, which actually, these are actually very thin. They're actually very thin. I have them drawn thick here just so you can see them. But what they're going to do is these are going to produce fluids that are go, going to go into the pericardial cavity. And the reason they do that is so it can decrease friction. So the name of the fluid is we call it serous fluid. And the function of it is to decrease friction. So as the heart opens and closes, there's, there's not friction between my outer layer here and my inner layer here, between my layers of the pericardium. So once again, we have the fibrous layer. The fibrous layer is going to be responsible for protecting the heart. It's going to hold the heart in place. 
It's going to keep the heart from overfilling with blood. And then we have the serous membrane, which is made up of the parietal pericardium and the visceral pericardium. These produce a serous fluid, and the serous fluid is going to decrease friction. So that is your pericardial sac. Thank you so much for watching.